Now, first of all, we are now using this Bootstrap CDN. This is the thing that we are going to use. We are reactivating that Bootstrap CDN class again. So we have re-enabled this Bootstrap CDN and we are using table responsive class not as a div element, not as a div selector name, but as a table class over here. Getting back to our project, reload in, switching on to mobile preview and we can see that the table has been being responsive. On the other hand, we are using table inverse, so some of these things, some of these stuffs, those will be getting dark colored. So now let's skip into another important matter of this tutorial and it is about the customization of these things as we can see over here. For say we are using a class with table, table border, table hover. We don't need to use this table hover and we don't need to use this table inverse side either. So all we are doing now we are just using this table border this table class, table border class, table stripped and table responsive class. So now we are getting back to our project and reloading. Now the question is about the customization. In this purpose, we are just activating the fire bug, clicking this left arrow and we are clicking on any of these table components over here. This table class, table table border. If we click over here, we can see a numerous number of uh, classes being used into this purpose, this table border, table border TD, table border TH, all those things are practically specified over here. So we are practically making some amendments to table border class names. And here it is. Let's assume that we are providing a background color. For say we are using this one, 666. Now we can see that table bordered and these things all these things are getting practically this color 666 so now if we just copy this class name and let's get back to our custom.css and another thing that you need to consider that you are using banner 8 so all I'm doing I'm just getting back to custom.css and here I'm rewriting this one again all we need to do we need to copy this thing and we need to paste it over here table bordered that comes within this banner 8 table border td that comes within this banner 8 and uh, table border th that comes within this banner 8 they will have the following property for say we are providing this one get back to your project and reload now you can see that this whole table all this td elements those uh, th elements all everything it is practically getting an yellow color but for the time being we assume that only the header part will be executing this yellow background and the rest of the things will be remaining intact so all we need to do we need to get back to our project into our custom.css and here we are practically deleting all the rest of the things over here and we are using only this class name we are classifying only this class name as banner 8 dot table border th that means table border class name which is coming under banner 8 all the th components that means this table header components inside this table border element those will be executing this background color which is yellow press ctrl s get back to your project and reload now we can see that we have successfully changed the T header the table header of this table as we can see over here now in case if we want to change these background colors as we can see this is practically a stripped environment we have used a table stripped over here for the time being we are removing this class name table stripped and we are using table bordered only now if we get back into our project and reload now we can see that it is now using the table bordered option only clicking the left arrow and uh, selecting any of these components and we can see that this is the td and if we look into the left of this control panel all we can see over here that this dot table td this is practically showing all these properties table border td it has this property border one pixel for convenience what we can do we, we may change this value over here just change this value and you can see that here is a three pix solid border so practically this is the class that is 
making all these differences, all these changes. So once again, we need to copy this class name from here and we need to get back to our custom.css paste it down here now again it is coming within this banner rate so all we have to do we have to copy this class name first of all copy this class name here and inside what is our prime intention our prime intention is to change the background colors of this table of this td elements inside this table bordered class name so that is why we have to change the td only we do not need any more changes anywhere else we want to keep the th remaining intact so that is why i have removed all those elements those are unnecessary and i want to change this table border td element so i just kept it over here and we don't need to change this header class names and before it prior to it i am just pasting this banner 8 condition over here that means any table border td element that will be coming under this banner 8 element this will execute a background color of for say c c c press ctrl s get back to your project and reload and now we can see that the background of all those td elements those are getting changed we can see that this is the background property which is actually taking over each and every other properties that were previously attributed to it. Now this is the second thing. In the third case, what if we want to have some alternative color combination? Like in this case, the first row, it is practically getting a particular color and the second row, it is getting another color and this thing will be alternative in nature. As we have seen in case of our table stripped options, where we have seen that alternative colors are taking place. Introduce the similar selector class names that we have used previously into our HTML and CSS tutorials. You will practically find that tutorial in advanced CSS tutorial for beginners. The same thing that will be used over here. That means we are practically going to use this nth chart selector. We are providing as background CCC. Now this kind of thing is actually taking place. So what is the problem? The, you are practically imposing your things into TD elements, not into these TR elements. So we need to make sure that the rows are practically getting this alternative color, not the column elements. So that is why we are getting back to our project and instead of td we are now using tr and we can see that each and every alternate odd number rows present into this table element those are getting alternatively background so this is the thing that you can do over here now if you do the same first of all select this thing copy and paste it over here in case of even elements you want your background to appear a little bit of white all the rows elements which is even numbered and all of them practically those are coming under this banner 8 now just press ctrl s get back to your project and reload now you can see that an alternative even color so get back to your project reload and now you can see that each and every alternate even numbered rows those are getting a white background now just reactivate your firebug element and uh, you can see clearly that this class name dot banner 8 dot table border tr nth child 2 and plus 1 that means here we are using an odd numbered element so that is why it is executing such over here it is practically executing a background color of ccc and in case of any even number it is practically executing this background property of fff now if we just enter into our mobile responsiveness view we can see similar properties are being executed over here where header element it is of a different background color the odd numbered rows those are getting a different background color and those even numbered rows those are getting a different background color that means you have successfully customized the properties and attributes present within a particular table element and 
this is how we are making all those customizations now the question is why we are using this banner 8 over here let's assume that now first of all copy this whole thing and paste it down here and instead of banner 8 now you use here banner 10 get back to your project and reload now you can see that another container a separate container with separate table elements those are now being generated over here now what is the difference that we can see here you may see that all this customization so far that you have made inside this uh, these table elements inside the banner 8 those customizations those are practically not getting reflected here into this segment cause you have made customization specially for all those table elements those are practically present inside this banner 8 element but you haven't customized those for this banner 10 element so that is the thing that is the objective of using a specific class name the all before making those changes you may have to use these elements multiple times on a single page and in that case if you make a particular change into this default values these changes will be reflected through wise there won't be any scope practically to have different properties or different attributes for different uh, tables you have created suppose you have created a navigation bar on the top of your web page and another navigation bar at the bottom of your web page now if you change the properties if you customize the properties of this navigation bar of this navigation menu then all you will be finding all these things are getting same there won't be any change every customization you made once on a single place that customization will be carried on into the other places so that is why it is always a wise thing to separate those class names or effectively in this case if you use a separate id for separate containers and then you use all those customization calling those ids first as we can see over here in the first case in this first table element we have made some customization but that is restricted only within this first table elements but in this second table element all those properties those are practically being observed over here those are practically the default values used by bootstrap so that is why i always use i always uh, refer to use separate classes for making any kind of customization that will be aiding you in future so hope you guys have liked this tutorial uh, if you have liked this tutorial then do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button hope to see you guys in our next tutorial till then bye